Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky, certainly, and I love how it starts for you because, yes, there is some very Neptunian confusing energy that is there, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. But as we start the month, goodness is the energy beautiful and strong part of the reason is in the first days of the month we're going to have venus in your sign already strong in your sign as i've been telling you as we've been going along uh, in the weekly horoscopes on youtube and in the superstar space but venus in your sign is already in a particularly strong position venus is at home in your sign she likes being there but she will, as we start this month, speak in supreme harmony with Pluto. This makes for one of the more intensely sexy days of the year. And it is you certainly that is holding that sense of love being a force of transformation. Now, this isn't necessarily just romantic love. This is love for self as well, a real connection to your own value and realizing where it is that you can actually bring a genuine sense of self appreciation uh, towards you. And, you know, again, this is in a healthy way. This is not in a way that boosts ego, but rather holds humility. And when it is that you are able to uh, approach whatever your blessings are, whatever your self-concept is, from a place of humility, you're able to find that much more love and appreciation for yourself and for your life. And that is part of where it is that the universe wants to encourage you to go, especially as we start this month. The other beautiful energy happening simultaneously is that Mercury will speak in harmony with uh, Uranus in your sign. I love this energy. I think that it is lucky. It is fortunate. And it is ultimately energy that has you feeling like synchronicity is on your side. Uh, that you are in the right place at the right time connecting with the right person that your mind is working incredibly quickly that your curiosity is high as well and in the process you are able to touch on brilliance and so wherever it is that you are hoping to think of things in a different way in a new way you're hoping to expand your own perception create a plan even, a brainstorm even. What is gonna make you happier? What is gonna help you to feel more in alignment with an energy of prosperity, an energy of success, or an energy of love even as well? This is where you can have these light bulb moments, these very clear, very quick understandings that make a big difference for you. Now, under the same sky, this is where some of the stronger lunar activity is going to start to set in. And it starts with the new moon right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. We'll have this month's new moon and, and fast forward 14 days later, we will have this month's full moon. And so the new moon and the full moon both are energies for you this month that are speaking to, on the one hand, money and finances. Uh, on the other hand, they're speaking to an energy of abundance, your understanding of abundance. And these are also areas that are connected to a genuine sense of self value as well. The thing is though, that both of these lunar events are uh, going to be connecting with Neptune in connections of some tension. You add to this, uh, Venus is gonna move into this part of the sky as well about a week into the month and we'll also be making these same connections as well. The sun is gonna be making these connections. And so what it does suggest is a time when it may feel as if these areas I just mentioned, it may feel as if there isn't as much security as you would like. Now, understand this when we have such strong financial energy it means that the money you need is there and especially when i look at that full moon it is going to be happening hand in hand with jupiter as well which means that there is a lot of prosperity there is a lot of luck there is a lot of care uh, people and the universe looking out for you in wonderfully affirming ways so all of that is here 
and it is possible and a lot of this energy I feel is going to work out more in terms of your own sense of uncertainty your own fears as well and what is it when fears come up they ultimately come up to be healed now it is not the time to be taking big financial risks or making big uh, uh, taking chances where it comes to the financial agreements that you're making whether it is investing whether it is uh, especially where it is that involves a friend uh, taking financial advice uh, or whether it is getting involved in a joint financial endeavor uh, these are things that maybe at least this month and I would even say next month as well that you want to take a little bit of a step back from and that is because as we move later into the month mercury is going to enter shadow uh, next month is a very big month not only is mercury going to be retrograde next month but it's going to be eclipse season as well so there's a lot that i will be talking about once we get there but at least for now know that where it is that you find yourself sort of focusing on the externals, right? Um, and what I mean by that is that ultimately our physical world and the circumstances within it are there to facilitate a deeper spiritual learning, a spiritual strengthening, if you will, a connection with our own uh, sense of love and wisdom and how we represent that. And where it is that you can start tapping into the deeper spiritual lesson, then the outer stuff, you recognize it as illusionary. You recognize it for what it is, a valuable tool to help you to understand some sacred lessons. But keep your eye on the lessons. That is going to be key to helping you to navigate this month that much better. So whether it is that some of this learning is showing up in terms of money, whether it is that some of this learning is showing up in terms of uh, your own sense of self-value, know that ultimately this is a part of you being guided towards a greater connection to genuine prosperity within you and in your world and in your life as well. So as long as you're not doing anything too risky, taking any kind of big chances on the financial front, as long as you are staying connected to your inherent worth and practicing healthy forms of self-value, well, that is when you will use this month that much more to your advantage and soar through the process. So at the beginning of the month, that new moon is very much about money you earn and money that you spend. There is going to be more of a focus on that. But considering how we have these beautifully supportive energies playing out at the same time that I started with, with Venus and Pluto and Mercury and Uranus, it tells me that you're able to think very quickly. You're able to think very creatively and you're able to connect with a genuine sense of wealth and prosperity that reaches right deep within, right to the heart of you. And any kind of ideas you have now, you wanna run with them, you wanna cherish. If it feels like there's an expense that is arising, know that you will absolutely meet it thanks to your own creative thinking. As we navigate to the middle of the month, the focus changes more towards your relationship with financial institutions. I would say with energy like this, be really careful, be really mindful of any kind of uh, loans that you may be applying for. The terms just do not look very clear. Uh, and there may be some key things that you are overlooking, details that are gonna end up being important where it comes to any kind of uh, financial agreements that you may reach at this time. The other part of this as well, though, has to do with knowing that you are cared for. And it is possible now that whether it is uh, emotional care, financial, uh, or uh, otherwise, whether it is a sense of truly being supported, well, all of that becomes possible in sometimes very unlikely sources, but in ways that ultimately affirm your sense of the wealth that is available to you. You know, I remember I have a very dear friend. I've been thinking about him lately. I really should be connecting with him. I'll send him a message after I finish recording this video. Um, I've shared him on social media before. One of my very dear friends in England. I was a student there many years ago and he was my hairdresser. His name is Aldo. Uh, and uh, he's brilliant. He's the only one who ever did my hair in a way that I really like. He really is that brilliant. But I remember we used to have all these conversations around, uh, around love, around wisdom, around change, around uh, understanding spiritual truths more deeply. Like 
we saw each other almost every day and uh, this was one of the major topics that we would cover. We sort of uh, found each other at a time we were both exploring our own spirituality and strengthening ourselves spiritually. And so he was a big part of my journey. But anyways, I remember one of the things he said to me that always stuck with me was that love gives you options. You know, so often we say like, okay, money gives you options and uh, all these external factors need to line up so that we can have what it is that we really want or, you know, we can have the experiences we want, we can have access to the resources we want. But the truth is that love is the most powerful force to opening up the world and a world of experiences and just about anything you can imagine. Love can make it possible. And this was a really valuable understanding for me and it made me realize how important it is to focus on love in all that I do and to bring love in all that I do because it is in love that there are even more options that become available. And so I'm sharing this with you now because I feel like that may very well be the lesson for a lot of you out there, especially as we navigate into the second half of the month. That is when, with that full moon, it is going to bring this sense very much to the surface of how much it is that love and the care of others, the love of the universe as embodied by people can actually bless your life. Even with that difficult Neptune connection, we have that full moon hand in hand with Jupiter. I think that is energy that you are absolutely going to love and it will open up options for you where you didn't even know they were, all because there is love that is there. Where it comes to matters of love, about a week into the month, Venus will leave your sign. And so it is the first week of the month that has some of the best love vibes for you, especially the first days of the month. That is when Venus will speak in supreme harmony with Pluto. I completely love that energy. I feel like it is just so sensual, uh, so empowered, so transformative, that if it is that you are wanting to connect with someone new, I would invite you to take full advantage of the first days of the month. Make sure you're out and about and being active. Uh, if it is that you're wanting to nurture a connection that is already there, it would be a good idea for you uh, to actually plan something uh, because ultimately the love related experiences you have in the first days of the month can help you to feel that much more connected to this person that you are either getting to know or that you are in an established bond with. But as Venus changes signs, uh, Venus is going to move into the same part of the sky that we have uh, the new moon taking place in. And this is a part of the sky that on one hand, outside of love has to do with finances. Like I said, money you earn, money you spend. And so this ordinarily under normal circumstances can be really nice, can provide a little bit of a boost where it comes to uh, income. But the thing is that because of the challenging connections that are going to be taking place with Neptune, again, that I talked about earlier, it tells me that it would be good to pace yourself. And that's also true in love as well. And where it comes to matters of love, know that a lot of what may seem that is clear may actually not be. Uh, and that is the way in which sometimes things work out. The clarity will come, of course, whatever at one moment is confusing can turn into a greater sense of clarity, but it does mean that you're going to have to pace yourself and navigate slowly as you move forward. We are going to have uh, some connections that astrologers call a quincunx that is going to be taking place with Venus and Saturn and Venus and Pluto. And what this suggests is that there are going to be some very quick and surprising moments in which a greater sense of groundedness will come. For those of you open to meeting someone new, I would say again, pace yourself. This is true for everybody out there. Uh, but also just keep in mind where it is that it feels like love and money is coalescing in a way that may or may not feel comfortable. Keep in mind that this can be a time when you are feeling like you want to give, you want to be generous with another person. You may attract a particular situation like that, but all may not necessarily be as it seems. And the big lesson for you in love is to know that you alone and who you are and what you bring is more than enough and is worthy of being loved as you are.
For those of you who are getting to know someone, if you've just started to date someone, well, again, this does apply. If it feels as if you're wanting to be more generous or you're being asked to be more generous, check in with yourself, see how it is that you really feel around a particular matter. But I do think that as you navigate forward this month, a big part of the lesson is going to be where is it that you are in terms of your self-love and what it is that this person may be offering you. Whether it is that it feels like this connection, uh, some part of you feels that it is better than what you have previously had, whether part of you feels that it is uh, not as good as you'd like it to be. As you navigate this month, some clarity about yourself is going to arise as a result of your interaction with this person. And for those of you who are in an established bond, again, love and money can mix very powerfully this month. Um, where it comes to the full moon in the middle of the month, that can speak to your partner's finances as well. Again, I would say nothing too risky where it comes to taking chances uh, financially. It's not the time to be starting brand new financial endeavors. And that is very true for your partner as well. But for all that, this can be a time when you are finding yourself and uh, figuring out for yourself the best way forward and the give and take that takes place between you and the person that you love. Do you feel like it's balanced or not? Well, whatever your feelings are, they may uh, sort of go back and forth a little bit with a month like this, but through it all, you are being led on a journey to connect with your own truth as to what it is you feel that you're giving and you're getting and what your truest feelings are about the balance between the two of you. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's so much here, but I am gonna say I love that Venus is in your sign at the beginning of the month. I love that Venus is connecting with Pluto in the early days of the month. I think that is going to be such a beautiful high point among many high points that are gonna take place as we navigate from week to week. But it is as you start this month that you are deeply connected to a sense of strength and a sense of meaningful transformation, how to facilitate it in your life, but also how to receive it for you. And the thing is that you are changing and you're changing in ways that you like very much. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.